Hello, everybody. CW here. I got a shotgun to show you. I've shown you a couple of these. I really like them. This is a Zephyr Woodlander. Brought into the country in the 60s, maybe into the early 70s, by Stoger. Stoger Arms Corporation. It's made in Spain. Um, I showed you my 12 gauge, and I think I think I showed you my 20, but I'm not for certain. I have to check back to my videos to see. This one is my 28, and it's my favorite gauge. I like the shotgun a lot, but it's it's seen some use. It really could use it really could use a refinish. The finish on it is is getting dated it's a it's a cheaper varnish you can see how it's worn through in places um there's some tarnish some old oil on the water table the engravings are getting dark they need to be cleaned out oh there's some pretty good pretty good use dings and dents in the wood but it's it's a it's a lower end quality made shotgun out of spain and as i said it's in 28 gauge these are 26 inch barrels and it's choked strangely um it's choked improved it's a little bit it's a little bit tighter than improved cylinder and then it's improved modified so it's not quite full in the left barrel and not quite improved cylinder in the right it's 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 enough that you can see the difference you see it this one's bigger than this one so it was probably a special order I got it used, so I have no idea. Like I said, it's been it's been around for quite a while. And I'm trying to think of the manufacturer's name, and I should know it, but I'm having a brain fart. It's a, it's a rough day for me mentally today. Well, it's, uh, this, this month in general is going to be a little rough for me um, with everything's going on, with, uh, with just remembering stuff from my wife. Today's our anniversary, or would have been. Her birthday's coming up. And I'm having a life's party for her in a couple of days. So just a lot of a lot of mental stuff going on for me. Anyway, I can't think of the manufacturer in it. I don't know that it says it on here. Maybe it does if I look enough. We've got some marks on the water table. I'll bring you in here and we'll, we'll show some of these. And I'll show you the bottom of the barrels. And uh, it shows the choking. So these are proof marks just from the factory, from the manufacturer, from the country, different requirements. Um, there you see 2870, and that stands for 28 gauge, 70 millimeters. And for us in the United States, in America, it's two and three quarter inches. So it's not a three inch gun, but it's, it's 28 gauge there. There isn't a three inch for that. And I see the name. Let's see if I can get it for you here. It's Sarah Sequeta. That's who makes this gun. And there it is right there. That's the manufacturer. It just was escaping my my little pea brain. But Sarah Sequeta is the manufacturer and they're in Spain. Um, it's got it's got engraving on it, but it's not great. But it's it's real engraving. We got a funny looking grouse, kind of a cartoony. Actually, I think that's a duck. <laughs> I think that's a duck. Over on this side, we've got a couple of pheasants. And again, they're a little cartoony. And the bottom, we've got a goose. And then the model is Zephyr Woodlander. They're trying to... Woodlander is kind of weakly engraved. Or it's or it's worn from use. 
I've got some glares, so I'm trying to work through those. So we got Zephyr and then Woodlander. And like I said, the engravings are, are dirty. It really could use a good a good cleanup. We've got some more engraving here on the trigger bow. Dual triggers, two triggers. A little bit of engraving down, down here into the wrist. And there's a very, very thin, very, very thin and small wrist. And that's not a crack. I've looked at that a hundred times. That's the in the uh, the checkering for whatever reason they wrapped it around, and it's in a typical place that would crack, but it's not a crack. It's it's engraving, it's a checkering. Tie the two panels together, and here you can see the finishes wearing off. And the butt plate didn't get a butt plate with a name on it. Usually their butt plates have names on them, so I should have checked the date of manufacture and I did way back when I got this but it's been so long I just don't remember but little little bitty things are here to, to point out the touches of well I, I quality but more more workmanship than quality and that is see the screws they're lined up those kind of things are are big on on shotguns and if you find that they aren't lined up, someone's probably been in there who didn't know or didn't care as much. This one's clocked just a little bit. Should have been maybe tightened up just a little bit. Because it's not perfectly, perfectly straight. This one's really good. This one's a little bit, a little bit crooked. And then we're onto the barrels here. And we'll take the, the beaver tail off. And all that's in there. There's, you know, again, the screws are straight in line even inside and the screws here are engraved it's just kind of odd they engrave those that are hidden and they don't engrave like the butt plate screws that are right out in the open all the time so over here we've got stoger arms made in spain and on the bottom of the barrels we've got some stampings for choke now i got a Get my own bearings here. What do we got here? All right, we've got Sarasaquita again, right out here. And then we've got the serial number or the last few digits of serial number. We got a couple of governmental marks. We've got another 2870 over here. And then over on this side, we've got some more, some more markings. They're, they're proof marks and such. And out here is where we've got our choke numbers. I think it's a 3.5 and I see it better through the not really I can't read it or 13 13.5 13 and then 13.3 let me turn it around here so I'm not reading upside down 13.2 13.7 13.5 and out here 13.5 13.5 not sure what those two are, but these are the chokes of the barrel. And it's a uh, extractor, not ejector, so it doesn't send them flying, it just lifts them out. And these are a couple of dummies, snap caps, a zoom. There we go. And again, the chokes are. A um, little bit open, improved cylinder, and a little bit um, tighter than improved modified. But I find it odd, strange, that you can actually see your eye. My eye can. I, I hope you, you can. This one is smaller than this one. I'm hoping that you can see it. I'm not going to fall over here trying to, trying to get close to the camera. That's better. Can you see that? That left hand one is a bigger hole than the right hand one. That's funny. Alrighty. So there we go. There's my 28 great 28 gauge Sarah Sequetta Zephyr Woodlander. And I am actually gonna be going to use this this weekend. 
my buddy called me up. I've got a really good group of friends and um, God is great because I'm sure it's through him that he's working. And I got a call last night requesting if I would like to go on a sporting clay shoot this Sunday. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. And this is what I'm going to take. Uh, I don't believe I have shot this in sporting clays ever. I know I've only hunted with this a couple times. So it's going to be nice to get it out. I almost, almost took the 12 gauge. Because that one hasn't even been fired yet by me. It's obviously been fired. But this is just so much nicer, so much thinner, so much so much easier to carry and i and i really like it a whole lot more so this is what i'm going to take i'm going to try and do some video um my computer hard drive crashed so i've got to do everything on the phone and unless i can probably have a couple of people there video for me a little bit so i'll get something up on the channel uh, probably just a short time after you see this video I'll, pro I'll try and keep them chronological. Um, this video is probably going to be um, seen by you around uh, the 20th, 23rd, something like that of June. Um, right now it's the beginning of June. So there we go. Single bead, by the way. Just no, no, uh, no mid bead, just a single ivory bead in the front. And it's probably plastic. But it fits me really well. So I shoot it pretty good. All right. God bless everybody. I hope you have a great day, great weekend. Remember to tell those people in your life who you care for, that you care for them. Because today is called the present and it's a gift. God bless. CW out.